This is Plank 2G's Hard Mode Tob Gear Guide. The first gear setup we're going over is South Mage. At minimum, you need your standard 5-way switch with Ancestral. Since you melee Maiden in, in Hard Mode Tob, I highly recommend bringing a 6-way switch and adding the Mage Arena 2 cape. Also, since you are freezing and going to be maging in Nylos, I do su highly suggest a Kodai Wand if you can afford it. This extra 15% damage increase really does make a large difference when barraging the clump. For your off roll, only take a one way switch. Since you get half of the points at the chests, you really need all the extra supplies that you can bring. For South Mage, just round it off with Claws, Chally, and your Scythe. As always with every spot here in Hard Mode Top, you will be bringing in max strength gear with a Serpentine Helm. The Serp Helm is really for P2 Verzik since you have to walk in a square. And let's be honest, we're all human beings that make mistakes. This is for North Freeze Melee. For North Freeze, you really only need to be able to catch the crabs at Maiden. Therefore, you can get away with as little as a 5-way switch if you take off your helm, boots, and put on Augury. If this is too much for you, simply add in one more switch, such as the Mage Arena 2 Cape. Also, bring in at least a 4-tick weapon, such as the Tentacle Whip, or even better yet, a 3-tick weapon such as a Swift Blade or Ham Joint. You're going to see a familiar theme here. One-way switch for your off-roll, which is why I only bring in the Tebow. As always, Claws, Scythe, and Chally. You do notice one more item sneaking into the inventory, and that's the Bandos God Sword. As a North Freeze, if you're going to bring in two BGSs for the raid, you are the person to bring it. Moving on to Range DPS. Range DPS must bring in Elite Void and a Blowpipe. Black Chin Chompas are highly recommended. And yet again, you notice the one-way switch for your off roll, which is Mage this time, along with your Claws, Scythe, and Chally. Do pay special attention to note that I have Venge and Potshare runes in the rune pouch, which your ranger should be on Venge and Potshare. You may also notice that Range DPS has some of the tightest inventory for hard mode Tob. Last but not least, we have the Leech Roll, Pack Yak, whatever you want to call, Melee DPS. If you are Melee DPS in hard mode Tob, you must bring a BGS. There is literally zero reason for you not to. Other than that, you have a one-way switch for everything else, as well as your Scythe Claws and Chally. Ideally, the melee DPS brings in Thralls, but if you haven't done that, then just grab Vengeance and Potshare. As with any melee roll inside of Nilo, you will need to bring a melee weapon for it, such as the Abyssal Tentacle Whip, the Swift Blade, or Ham Joint. And again, just a reminder for every roll inside of Hard Mode Tob, you are prioritizing max strength for your melee DPS since this is the primary route that you are using to damage everything. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and have a wonderful day.